G'day elites, welcome back to Murphy's Magic Saturday Sorcery. It's me, your host, Chad Michael Murray. I hope you're well, I hope you're having an incredible Saturday and you're ready to learn a free gimmick that is super simple to make. You can literally make it in minutes. Because I know you're a super important person and you've got no time to build lengthy gimmicks because you want to get in, get your content and get out. I know you and I got you. Now this gimmick actually came about is because I was teaching another friend another TNR gimmick which was quite lengthy, in detail and quite fiddly to build. And this being my friend's first TNR gimmick that he wanted to build, he asked if there was something he could build that's a little bit simpler and he could build on the fly. Now this gimmick is an actual Frankenstein of a whole bunch of other gimmicks from friends of mine like Luke Oslin and Kenneth Costa, plus a whole bunch of my flair and my details and gimmicks added in. It's alive. Oh, it's alive. If you want to see links to my friend's gimmicks where I got my inspiration from, link in the description below. Now I know what you're saying, Bo, I don't want to hear you talk, I want to see the build so I can get building and get performing. Well, let's head downstairs right now and learn how to build it. Okay, so let's get into building this gimmick. You're going to need some elastic thread, a needle, a ruler, an X-Acto knife, three playing cards of any type you want, preferably with a pattern on the back, some double-sided tape and some tweezers. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to get some double-sided tape and we're going to cut a little length off to stick to our board so we can mark our cards easier. You don't have to do this. This is what I do to make it a little bit easier to handle my cards when I'm cutting and marking cards. And lay your card down face up. Now we want to score the front of this card so we can fold it without seeing a nice big line. To do this, we're not going to cut directly in the middle, just here. We want to cut to a little bit off to the side here. So about three quarters up or just, just under three quarters up off the card. So using your ruler and your exacto knife, you're going to score the card, not going all the way through, but maybe through the first two layers. So really lightly press on your exacto knife here to score your card. Then peel it up. You can see it hasn't come through the card here, but it is super easy to fold like so. Make sure it's all lined and straight, but your card should look like this with a little bit of overlap on the bottom. Now with your other card, now this is the card that's going to be ripped that you're placing on top. We want it to sit down flush like this. So what we're going to do is you're actually going to get this card and you're going to rip it down the middle so it looks like a torn card. And then you're going to get some double stick tape and stick it to this side of your restored card. Depending on how you want your card to look, I want the nice torn bit face up so I can see it really nicely. Uh, otherwise it's a little bit hidden away. Then you're going to stick those two pieces of card down. So it look, should look something like this. And then obviously they're restored. But we've got that overlap. So we want to cut this extra piece of the torn card off. So we're going to cut down here and along here, just tidying everything up. So cut that all out now. Now you're finished. It should look like this. This is your restored card. And this is your torn card on the back here. You can see it lines up down the bottom here with a nice pattern going through. So that cut is nice and hidden inside the pattern. Now we want to sew your elastic thread through the card. So we're going to do it on the upper three quarters of your restored card. So get your elastic thread and begin sewing. So like I mentioned, on the upper three quarters of your restored card, so about halfway up your circle on the back of your bicycle card, if you're using bicycles. and pre-puncture your holes and make sure you go through from your restored side to the other side so you get the bird edges on your restored look. So through your restored and then loop through and tie them off. Now the knot here can be any knot you like but a simple granny knot will do. So just a quick pull and loop and a double granny knot will finish it off. Make sure you pull tight but not too tight. You still want to have a bit of give Pull it too tight, your elastic's going to snap when you pull it back. Cut it off. And here you go. This is how it should look. Your thread should come through there and through here like so. So it should come through there. And then when you pull it back, you can see here, your thread's running down through here vertically. And then you want to tear off the top part of your card. This is over-exaggerated here with the curved edges. You can go a lot more straight or you can go curved if you want but I'd prefer it a bit straight. I've just over exaggerated it here for you. Now using another card, you want to tear almost half the card off to make your two loose pieces that you're going to show and display. Now a couple of different ways you can do this. You can either sew this through again 
or you could staple it or you could just glue it however you want to do it but sewing it allows me to have a bit of elastic and a bit of give if I want to like separate the pieces a little bit more whatever I kind of want to do with it, it gives me a little bit more access to the pieces I guess if, if that's the right phrase <laughs> tie that in a double granny nut again and trim it off so there you go I've got two pieces in here that I can move about in my hands I then want to stick some double stick tape on the back of these cards where they're going to stick onto the cards. So you want to line it up and see where you kind of like it to sit before you do your restoration. So I want it to sit about there. I know I need to stick it in that bottom corner of the underside card. So cut a piece of tape off. So stick your double stick tape down. And this is what it's going to look like. It's going to sit like this. And then when you're ready to go into the restoration, you're going to let go of that bottom corner and it flaps back. Now let's get upstairs and get into how to handle the gimmick. This part of the program is brought to you by Sucker Punch. They're just like poker chips, but way cooler. Now be honest, how simple was that? Pretty darn toot and simple, right? Now you've probably ended the tutorial right here because the gimmick is so easy to build and as you're building it, you know exactly how it works. But if you made it this far, congratulations, because it's time for the mid-episode competition. But before we do that, let's find out who last week's winner was. So who won last week's Cardition Bundle? Now that's a great question. Congratulations, Tiger Magic X. if you could email me just here, and I'll get your prizes straight out to you. Now for today's competition, if you want to win this exact gimmick, plus another gimmick that I haven't shown yet, it was a previous one that I was actually working on with my friend. It's just as cool, probably even cleaner, but I wanted to make it super, super simple, which is why we went for this one. But if you want the even more cool gimmick, and no one's going to know about it except for you if you win, all you got to do is enter today's competition. Now, how do you do that, I hear you ask? You've got so many good questions today. Sit back, relax, and I'll tell you. All you have to do is comment in the comment section below what your favorite deck is. Then I'll choose someone out at random and announce you in next week's video. Good luck. But I'm sure you already liked the video anyway because you're a champion and we've got this good friendship going. Thanks, mate. You're still here, I can't thank you enough. Oh, you wanna see the handling of this thing? Great. Well, sit back, grab your gimmick, hold it up. Ho oh, oh, ho oh, ho, what a beautiful gimmick. Hey, that looks good. You look good. Now, if you decided to go for these two little wobbly dobbly bits, that's great. Otherwise, you could also just stick them straight to the front of your cards. If you didn't want to do that, you could always just double stick them or glue them to your front of your cards. So you, you have them static there. So you've got your gimmick folded back, ready to go. You've got your two wobbly dobbly pieces. You're going to have your double stick tape underneath your thumb so you know where it is the entire time. So you're not looking for it during the performance. So you're here, you come in with your wobbly pieces, show that they're all loose and bring them on top of your other two pieces. Your index finger of your left hand is holding the bottom corner, while your thumb is holding the back of the back card. So from the back, it looks like this. Your index finger is holding the front and your thumb's holding the bottom corner. Now in the motion of why you're readjusting these front pieces like you're getting ready to restore the card, you're going to push down with your index finger, pushing that tape in place. Then in one motion of you either with a quick shake or literally letting go, right hand is gonna let go of these pieces while your left finger index finger is just literally going to slide off that corner. So in the motion of you readjusting, you're going to readjust like that. Now this could also be done in a motion of while you're shaking the card like so, to hide that action just a little bit more. Now if your threads are tight enough, you could literally let go and have it instantly snap into place. You don't have to do a shake. But if you want to do a shake to help hide the pieces flying about or add a bit more uh, mysteriousness to it, all you have to do is give it a quick little shake like that and that hides everything in it as well. Now, if you're out doing this live and you want to hand this out to your spectator for examination, now the easiest way to do this is I would actually stick this on top of this, the same colored deck, obviously, and do a top change and then hand that card out to the spectator for their examination. Now, some quick tips for you when you're loading your front two pieces on top of your gimmick. I would try to load them in the middle. So that way, when you let go, there's less chance of anything coming out the sides or from the top, as it would make sense if you had it sitting up here to the top corners or something like that, and you let go, you might have a piece sticking out like so. So when you go to let go, you wanna rearrange them so they look like they're random, but they're actually probably more vertical than anything. So when you let go, they're hidden behind the card. Now, what do you think? Did you like that gimmick? Let me know in the comments below. But if you really liked it, make sure you smash that like button because it is smash like September, and we're already halfway through the month. <sighs> this year is flying. Now, if you actually build this gimmick, make sure you post it and tag Murphy's Magic in it so I can see it and share it on our social media. I can't wait to see what you do with it. 
Now I'll let you get back to your Saturday champion. And if you're already about hanging out, building this gimmick, come over to our Discord. We're actually having a lecture right now with Renex, and then we're following on with some trivia, with some games, prizes, and a whole bunch of fun. Plus, I'd love to see your pretty face and talk about this gimmick and talk about anything else you want to talk about. But if you're watching this in the future, welcome to the future. It's the best time to be here, and I hope you're having a great day, whatever you're doing. Now take care. Bye for now. See you later. Whoa, look at this. Whoa. So much good magic in there. You you need to check this out. You're not gonna regret it. I I, I pinky promise you. Oh, whoa! Look at this! This shining diamond over here. What is this? Beautiful thing. You probably should click that if you haven't subscribed yet. But then you should definitely check out this, because this, this is good. Treat yourself.